Hello, golf friends. Gary Bates from the Gary Bates Golf Academy. Welcome to another installment of Living Room Lessons. I'm a PGA teaching professional and certified V1 video analysis coach. So we have Bernard Langer up here. I had a request from one of our viewers to look at a face-on angle, which we have here, uh, and Bernard Langer with an iron. What a player he's been in his career. Now 62 years old, of course, won a couple Masters, 116 tournaments around the world, and 11 senior majors. So here's a guy that has stood the test of time um, over the years, and let's look at him. Uh, so ball position I like for most of y'all, five through sand wedge or lob wedge in the middle, which he has, you know, um, fairly traditional setup. Now, Langer used to have a super strong left-hand grip which made him hit the ball quite low, but he neutralized it. So he has his V more in line with the middle of his uh, face there. It used to be towards his uh, right shoulder. So that's a change. Now he does a couple things I don't, I'm not crazy about, but hard to argue with his success. So he's going to take the club back very kind of one piece, sort of dragging it away a little bit and, um, you know, gets a, what we call a very one piece takeaway where not much hinge early in the swing right here. Now he's moved off the ball a little bit, which I, I'm not crazy about. I don't really see this with a lot of really good players, but this guy's an extremely good iron player, um, which you have to be to win the master. So, you know, a lot of width, moved into his right side more than some, hinging his wrist a little later than some. But again, there's a lot of variation among good players, good shoulder turn. Um, you know, he's actually moved his weight slightly to the outside in, at the top here, which I'm not crazy about either. But every, you know, once in a while, somebody's sort of going to break the mold in golf. I mean, just when you think you have it figured out, somebody like Matthew Wolf comes along and you're just like, whoa. So as teachers, we got to be very careful to change too much. We got to keep it simple. So when you work with me, that's to me, uh, you know, the priority. One or two things. Let's focus on that. So. Uh, Langer, if I was working with him, I'd say, let's keep the head more still. Let's not move to the outside of the right foot, <clears throat> but he's doing all right without me. Uh, you know, good width with the left arm. And then now he's going to move into his left side, right? And he actually doesn't have as much lateral motion as you'd see either. So, you know, a little different here. Now this guy practices like a madman. So, you know, he has been able to just ingrain the swing. Um, so he has a left arm in the shaft at 90 degree angle. So he hasn't casted. When I look at your video, I'm going to look for this because if you have that, it means you didn't cast the club from the top or throw it from the top. You've retained the angle and that's where your power is. Usually that's just swinging from the top when you lose it. So moving into the left side again, not as much as some. And he has his head actually fairly back here at impact. Now this will make you hit it higher, which if you're going to win the Masters, you, that's something you really want to do is hit the ball higher. So he may have had this to offset his strong left-hand grip, which makes, makes you hit it low. Um, and this is this is a move that would make you hit it higher, um, which isn't necessarily bad. It's just different. Now, you know, down through the ball, ball divot. We I always love to see the left arm and shaft realign right there. One frame past impact means you haven't scooped it or lifted. You've hit down. You, then he extends into the follow through. A lot of width. If you don't have that, you probably flipped or scooped it. I think that's a fundamental. You know, like I've said before, there's not like 10 things you got to do right, but there's probably four or five key fundamentals in my mind. And then up to the follow through up on the right toe, which we see with all good players, obviously want to be there. Um, you know, super important. I first came into contact with Langer, actually, when I carried on tour out of college in 1986. We were paired with him on uh, the Bob Hope Classic. And the thing that stuck out to me is his irons were amazing. His distance control, his the, the amount of times he hit the flag was amazing. Of course, he got the number one in the world that year in 86, so no wonder. But anyhow, there's Bernard Langer. Thanks for tuning in. We always appreciate it. Love when you uh, hit that subscribe button there on YouTube. It means a lot to us. Helps me grow the channel. You can hit the bell, select all. Give us a thumbs up on Facebook. We, you can see all the information on the Gary Bates Golf Academy, including our One Day Golf Academy. So thank you for being with us. If we can help you in any way, we sure appreciate it. And uh, we look forward to seeing you next time on Tour Swing Tuesday. Bye for now.